Well, definitely love the sound of that. And continuing with our Mandela centenary activities, we're now joined by both Thlubi and Boya Arnold. And uh, she's, of course, ambassador for the Nelson Mandela Library Project, amongst other things. And uh, Robert Kudz, who is the CEO of the Long Walk to Freedom brand. Welcome to you both. Good morning. morning. I just love your energy. You know, it feels like Mandela Day now. So Every day is Mandela Day to me. Every day is Mandela Day. And uh, which is how it should be. Which is how it should be. And it's about being Mandela under the sun and being a uh, joint in our vision and our purpose and uplifting the children because he was such an advocate for the fundamental human rights of kids, as is Obama. So, uh, you know, you've got to live that joy and you've got to try and, try and create that joy. And obviously, as literacy is one of our, of our most highly, uh, 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 par par uh, highest priorities as South Africa, that's where my heart lies and that's where my work will always be. And as a CEO, of the uh, uh, Long Walk to Freedom, Rob and I have worked tirelessly for almost two decades on literacy of young kids. I'm going to come to Rob in just a second, yeah. but I want to talk to you about uh, the literacy project yeah. at schools. Yeah. So tell us, what exactly are you working on? What's going to be launched? What are you doing tomorrow? Well, tomorrow it is basically a combination and a collaboration between uh, the Mandela Bangle and the actual Mandela family. And Her, uh, Her Excellency Zanani Zamini will be there. And it's going to be the donors, the Danish donors. We're going to obviously be building the schools. We've got Pepco, who's one of the great beneficiaries and the donors of the project. Standard Bank has helped us. I'm an athlete. So you know me and the mountain biking. So we're really building bike tracks and we're really doing jungle gyms. And obviously we'll be reading books. We've just basically come out with a Mandela cartoon program, who, which was developed by Tom Mozart, a brilliant South African cartoonist. And we'll be reading from this series. It's for grades one to four, which is basically the early childhood development, which is so important, which is so intrinsic. And afterwards, we're trying to establish the Winnie Mandela series. Obviously, we have to involve, you know, our, our matriarch. In Bogoto. In Bogoto. Absolutely have to. Uh, but, uh, you know, with all of that, uh, the bangle. And I'm looking at both your arms. Where's the bangle? There you go. Can we get a shot of that bangle? And, Robert, sure. tell us more about that, please. So so this was the, the start of the program where we, we basically said we want to create a situation where we have our cake and eat it. So we use programs like this where we create employment and skills development in making these things. And then, of course, the bangles get sold all over the world, which generates funds to raise money to, for the literacy program. And, of course, when you wear it, people ask you, what's that? And you start talking about it. So it spreads the word and it spreads the ethos of, of Mandela Day every day. Because, actually, as Luby rightly said, you know, we have just over 200,000 children now a day in our reading program. We need to get to 2 million to, to change an entire generation because that's what it's going to take. And every step of the way, every child is another person that adds towards this country and adds towards its positivity. So we're very, very successful at the moment, and we hope to continue that. But we're at the point now where the Department of Education is saying, please, guys, step up the game. And we're saying, well, okay, we're trying to step up the donors, but uh, because the program has possibly been one of the most successful literacy programs we've ever had in our program, as well as in the school's system. You know, we have great support from all over the world, but we do need to step it up a bit. And it's absolutely critical to get them at that foundation stage, at the early uh, development stage. Which is yes. why the Mandela series of books we're launching tomorrow with uh, Her Royal Highness Zanani um, is so critical, because now you're taking a, a history subject that has a little bit of relevance in their lives, and you've created this comic book series with pictures that are early learning readers. And there's 12 of them in the series that cover the, all of his life. And, and now you've got a child who's reading something they're actually interested in. It's giving them a little bit of history, but also teaching them how to read. I mean, you couldn't have asked for better. And, and it's going to be massive for us because these books made by us are also going to be in all the local languages. Sounds absolutely fascinating. And you know what? You're onto something there because when you think about reading, when I think back to my school days, we were always reading comics. Yeah. The breaks. We weren't reading serious history books. It was always uh, the Archies, uh, the Caspers, Absolute. all of those Absolutely. comics. So you're definitely onto something there. Absolutely. But uh, specifically, which school are you going to be at tomorrow? We're going to Crown, Crown Mines, Mines Primary. Primary. Um, one of the oldest primary schools near to the Hannesburg Mines. As the Mandela uh, Long Walk to Freedom and the Mandela Bangle Foundation, we've been there before. And there's a lot... 
obviously there's a lot of work to be done. So as I said, tomorrow we're going to be cleaning the loos, upgrading the classrooms, reading to the kids, vegetable gardens, um, bike parks, jungle gyms, the Soweto Gospel Choir, which you just heard, is going to be singing with the school. We've got VIP guests from can international... Of course you can come, Thank the more the merrier. <laughs> it's always exciting. And you know what, for me, which really humbles me, and Utata was all about humility and generosity and willingness to serve the kids we, we leave something with the kids that is forever impactful. And it's something that, as disadvantaged kids, they cherish for life. And something, hopefully, hopefully the, that they grow to be readers and writers and journalists and editors and publishers in their own rights, telling their own stories. Tell you what, we're out of time. But Robert, <gasps> where do we get those? Basically, mandelabangle.com. Um, you can go through to that website and it'll show you all the different attributes where you can even just, if you don't want to bangle, you can just donate towards a library. You can get the song, which is being launched worldwide. You, you're the first you're station the first. in the world. We're the first. To play the first snippet. It's oh. being launched next, tomorrow, worldwide in Europe. Um, and it was sung by the Natural Born Hippies and supported by the Sweater Gospel Choir. And it's going live on stage from August. Now you see, <laughs> if... You didn't know why you should tune in to Morning Live. There you have it. Everything happens here first. And with that and all the excitement that these guests have brought, I'm actually loath to say goodbye until tomorrow. <laughs> That's called the Thubi effect. It, it happens all the time when she just explodes. It's amazing. Have a lovely